Are you still reaching out for your calculator every time you see numbers on the SAT? When was the last time you, as a student, trusted your brain to be faster than technology on a time practice test? Let's take a look at this problem. What is 40% of 250? One way to do it is take your calculator and then you have to type 40% times 250 or 40 times 250 divided by 100, which could take some extra 10 seconds. What if instead you thought of it this way? You know that 4 times 10% equals 40%. And we know, hopefully, that 10% of 250 is just 25. You just move the decimal place by one digit. 10% of 250 equals 25. Then you just multiply that number by four, right? So 40% would be 100. So instead of grabbing your calculator, you could think of it as, okay, 10% of 250 is 25. And then I multiply that by four, it gives me 100. And then you move on. Let's take a look at another one. What is 0.5% of 200? Well, same as the previous problem. In this case, what is 1% of 200? So 1% of 200 would be two. So then you just have to half that. It's just because 0.5% is just 1% divided by two. Then in this case, 0.5% would just be one. And again, that could save you a lot of time. I'm showing the steps to show you exactly how I'm thinking about it. But once you get a hang of it, you could just do all of this in your head. 1% of 200 is two. You divide that by two, it's one. What is 15%? of 60. So you know that 15% is 10% plus 5%. So then 10% of 60 is 6. And then 5% of 60 is just half of what you just found is 3. You add them up, gives you 9. You want to develop pattern recognition skills that make the SAT math feel effortless and build real confidence in your test taking abilities. I've got tons of free strategies and techniques. Follow for more mental math shortcuts that will change how you think of SAT numbers forever.